in this re recap session we will just uh, go through the wires we have learned about wires as you know there are many types one is from components you can write uh, you can draw wires another bus you can draw from md bus let us try with the md bus go horizontal ok you can draw in this fashion if you want to change the spacing here you can do that let us put 0.5 and 0.5 ok now if you see go horizontal ok this will be like this so this is how you can set the distance between wires and from wire if you want to draw from a bus you want to draw another just select this first bus in this way don't select the bottom one if you select this one see it will be drawn in this way only always select the top one in this fashion this is how you should select the bus bar in order to trim the wires you should use this arrow now if there is a component it's a like uh, if there is a component for example one module is there if there is a already a component you can use this option just to make a cross like this where the components are there enter and take the mouse towards the direction in which direction you want to draw the line this is another type of wires and vertical is nothing just like if we draw the horizontal we can also draw vertical wires these are the few types and apart from that you can also see angled wires here 22.5 degree angle wire if you want to make an angle wire like this that is there and different angles are there and gap gap and all what is gap see if you go to properties drawing properties and here styles you can see these two things if you don't want a loop just want a gap make it like this if it is a loop what will happen is if you cross a wire above a wire like this see this is there this gap is there sorry this and uh, in fact if you don't want this loop if you don't want the loop and if you want the gap make it like this it will be like this and another option another option property styles solid wire see normally people don't use this style and uh, again going back to properties there you can see few things like dot dot comes wherever the two wire joins together and angle one is like this wire so this is angle one and if you change the setting to angle two let us see angle 2 the angle is opposite these are the different types of wires and always make sure your current layer is wire this should be your current layer and even if sometimes what happens is your current layer may be wire but you may not be able to draw the wires in current layer so what you should do then is go here create edit wire type go here here you can see 
you have to check whether that layers is the included in this list or not if you want to add a layer which is already there in your layers then pick go here these are all the layers these are the layers you will find here go to home tab these layers all these layers okay these layers you will find here here from this you have to cho choose the particular one always make sure that is your default May mark selected as default by mistake if I select add existing layer I am going to pick a zero layer from here zero okay 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 so this is also now one of a wire type now what happens is in hope tab if I draw a line here using line command and now if I do the wire numbering let us see what happened so the wire number comes here too even in this line in fact this is not a wire this is a line but still the wire number comes here so you should be very careful if this problem comes what you have to do is go here just select this and remove this layer yes you need only wire wire layers here different types of for power you may be using a typical layer and control you may be using another layer all this layer that layers can be included in this list now if I delete all the wire numbers again here sorry delete wire numbers here all the wire numbers now if I do the wire numbering see there is no wire number in this layer 0 so this is the layer setting and edit wire number if you want to edit a particular wire number you can go here edit this make it fix once if you want to make it a fixed wire number that is very much possible if I put say black just an example black this is black now so this this is fixed now this wire number is fixed now if I connect a source and destination arrow with this see okay the destination cellular wires cannot be fixed tied to a standalone cross reference so this fixed wires can be create some problems sometimes so don't fix the wires that is not advisable but sometimes it may require swap the wire numbers see if you want to swap the wire numbers two wire numbers here and here if you want 8 below and 9 above just click 8 comes below 9 goes up this is swap fix the wire number find replace wire number hide wire number you can hide it, the wire numbers in this way and if you want to unhide just click the, pick the wire trim wire you can trim the wires always use trim wire no, don't use delete normal delete command because see now you see this is a connection point if I use normal delete what happened delete this is normal delete so don't use that if I trim instead of deleting see what happens here see if I again trim this here see if I trim this wire see so always use trim command not use delete commands so that is all about trim again this is delete wire numbers this is move wire numbers if you want to move the wire number here and there like this you can move you can move the wire numbers and stretch wire if you have two wires you can stretch suppose if I want to stretch this particular wire to here I can use stretch wire see the in this way I can stretch the wires 
bend the wires if there is a particular connection going like like suppose if I want to bend this wire here I can do in this way it's not happening here see bending wire in this fashion you can bend the wires flip wire numbers if you want to bring it down below see this is flip wire number in this way you can flip the wire numbers here and there that is flip wire number create edit you have noted that copy wire number sometimes you may require the wire number to be both ends so now or right now it is here if I want it here too I can copy the same wire number will appear here if I again want here I can copy in this way you can copy the wire numbers uh, at any regular intervals or wherever you want this are all related to wires okay now and the next session we will touch components uh, yeah before that I should also tell you about a uh, wire numbering wire numbering this is sheet yes sh stands for sheet and n for numbering this numbering so if I do the wire numbering it will come sheet number plus this thing a b c d now going back wire number suffix prefix if you see here this is a b c d in that way that is why it is C coming C is coming here somewhere it is A it is coming in this way now if I delete all this wire number I am delete all the wire numbers going back property wire numbers prefix what I will do is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 I will put it in this way actually in fact all these things you should do while creating the project project itself it should be the project setting project properties here you should do all these things so that so that whenever you add a new drawing into this project it will ask you for the project values to be applied to this particular sheet or not so you should say yes you don't need to go and change individual sheets but sometimes you may require to change it into individual sheet by also in that case you can do by going to this particular sheet this is all about wire numbering now you see ABC is not there ABC is not there now so this can be done this another another thing again properties wire number above line in line this is also there below line in line if I keep it in line and do the wire numbering drawing by delete first wire number drawing wire see now this comes in line all the wires so this option is also available below above everything is available here right drawing properties wire gap wire numbers if you are using a PLC IO you should use PLC IO address format like uh, this one here if I use PLCIO if I am making a PLCIO drawing what I will do is drawing setting wire number search PLCIO ok first I will delete this wire numbers wire numbers pick individual wires this is not coming because 
we have not just a minute properties drawing properties wire numbers search io plc wire search plc wires wire numbers pick individual wires there is some problem with this i will insert a new module and show you plc io plc io module 1761 micro logix lwa one lwa i don't think even in this it work another sorry component wire numbers pick individual wire see input 1 this i o address turn 9 and in fact i have not provided all the details here if i provide the track number slot number all and all it will put the wire number as per that so this is all about wires next next session we will touch about inserting components thank you let us move on to components this is the one drawing which we used in our earlier session now i want to add this particular drawing into my project file which is acad e iec schematic <coughs> in fact this is now jec jec symbols now whatever we are using so if i want to save us save us i will make it to okay and see now this two is not part of this project in order to make this as a part of this project what you should do is select the project add active drawing do you want to apply the project default values say yes now this has become the part of this project components insert icon menu here you can see all the components all these are jc components if you set the project setting in, in the project setting if you select instead of jc if you are adding iec see iec is, is here but that is bottom if i move it to a stop move up in this fashion i can move it up down if i move it in the top my list will this while inserting this components this will be iec schematic okay but anyhow now it is jc schematic all the items are here use this plus and minus arrows to expand and to collapse this suppose if i want to insert a push button click here otherwise you can go directly here and select any type of push button as you wish you can insert this is a tag number again you can add a description if you want to include the manufacturer catalog number and all you can use these options okay now <coughs> one thing you should notice sometimes this is a is jc title block that is in imperial in just suppose if you are using instead of this sheet if you are using an iec standard that is metric so the component if you insert the same component that will be too small in those drawings so in that case make sure inside the properties here inside the properties here mm full scale you should set this scale now it is in inches so fine if you are using metric make it into mm full scale fine this is how you can insert and
for editing the components you have to click edit and select this particular component if I want to change it to PB1 1 PB1 ok in fact this is my sheet number you should always check the property of this sheet this is 2 ok 2 is my sheet number now so now if I want to change it into 2 I can edit this component 2 PB1 now for copying copy component select this component always use the snap on that will enable you to move the components in a predefined distance See, again it is coming as PB1 only I can change it to 2 PB2 this way now suppose this is my sheet number 2 and if I am inserting a push button it is coming as PB1 only now if I want the ta uh, prefix that is my sheet number 2 to be added in this list that is also very much possible how do we do that in order to that again go to drawing properties components you just add percentage yes yes for sheet sheet in this ok now if I insert a component you will know the difference See, 02 it is coming as 02 why 02 because you see the property here here I have provided 2 instead of 02 if I put 2 only push button now it is 2B 2PB3 because we have already inserted 2 push buttons in this ok repeat 2B4 5 in this way you can insert this is one way of inserting the components and coming back to this on the right hand side you can see the last recently used components here from this also you can select whichever component you want and another option of inserting the component sometimes you may require to insert a component in a vertical fashion then what you have to do is choose this vertical here and if now you insert this this will come in this way 2pb6 see this is vertical again going back to push button suppose again here I am putting a power supply here to G1 G is the family name ok ok now I am drawing two wires here in case you, if you want to resize this particular uh, component you can stretch this by selecting that component in this way you can resize this, this particular component now coming back suppose if you want to insert multiple components in one sheet you don't have to insert it again and again first you have to insert a component this is one way like this push button I am going to insert a push button here sorry it's vertical now because last time we put it in vertical manner push button keep the snap on I am going to put it here no but I cannot put it here see why because while inserting this particular module I, I kept my snap off that is why I am unable to place my component in this particular line if I want to place it I have to switch off my snap and in this fashion I can put 2pb1 see now I have inserted one component now I want similar components to be inserted in all these wires which is connected to this particular IO module 
what I have to do is I have to uh, pick from here multiple insert pick master first you select this one and make a fence like this enter the options here keep all don't ask if you don't check out this show edit dialog box if you uh, after inserting one component it will ask you again to provide some descriptions and all if you don't want that to happen otherwise if you want to continuously insert the components keep it like this now you see this inserting in all lines until 2pb17 there are 17 wires you have inserted all these things suppose maybe you may require to delete one of this component for deleting the component always use this symbol don't use delete command if you use delete command what happens is okay you save it is asking what is it was asking us you may have used the its child component in some other sheets do you want to cross check it that's what it was asking for now coming back to delete instead of using this delete if you delete this manually erase or delete what happens is the gap remains like this only but when you use this delete what happens see see this is the now you note 2p1 2p4 now I have deleted 2p4 2 and 3 from this if I want to rename this that is also possible but still if you want to move this component to its up down that is also very much possible in order to move see there are many options if you go here components here you can see move component move component all these commands you can find in multiple you can use in mul multiple ways either from here or from this ribbon even I can use the same command through my uh, command line that is using my keyboard AE AutoCAD electrical move component sorry move see AutoCAD electrical move if I now move this I can move and place it in this way this is another way of doing this and now you see I have moved this component but the numbers remain same only in fact I want to renumber this retag all these numbers so what I should do is go to project tab here and update retag here here component retag ok if you want to retag in whole drawings or whole projects you can select do all for reset use this button if you want particular one sheet select those if you want multiple use the control button and select whatever drawings you require now in this case I need only sheet number 2 I am selecting process only sheet number 2 ok remember our numbering was 2pb145 we have deleted 2 and 3 from this drawing now I want to retag all this so ok wait 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 sometimes it may take some time so, now you see the numbering 2pb1234 and like 15 so in this way you can delete uh, retag the components and going back to this I am deleting these push buttons from here and now what I am going to do is I will insert one terminal here terminal where is terminal terminal yeah terminal here terminal with a number terminal round with a let me choose number with wire number hexagon with wire number 
let me choose this one for example I'm putting 2t1 1, 1 okay if I want to insert more I can use this thing sorry 2t1 2, 2 okay repeat now I am unable to re repeat this particular terminal I will delete this and put a new terminal uh, this is a new terminal this one now I am putting here 2t1 2, 2 okay repeat 2t1 3 in this way you can repeat again if you want to insert multiple what you have to do is go here pick master use pick master and make a fence keep all if you keep the show edit dialog box after each after inserting one particular terminal again it will ask you to ask you for more information I don't want that see now 17 terminals are there in fact if I delete two from here and again I want to renumber the rest I mean till 11 it is okay I want to renumber after that so what I will do is component terminals terminal strip utilities pick mode starting with see the command line start with from where you want to start till 11 it's okay now next I want to start from 12 enter 12 select 12 13 14 in this way you can renumber this is one way of renumbering the terminals now I will draw a horizontal three phase line wires in this way and will insert a circuit breaker circuit breaker let me put triple switch sorry circuit breaker comes here less conduct circuit breakers circuit breakers I'm going to put a three pole circuit breaker here down okay see now I have inserted suppose if I want to move this whole component towards left so what I will do is use the scoot command select this bring it so it is asking you you can see this link line between all these three poles so it is asking you you want to scoot other components as well so okay if you want to insert normally you should scoot those two see in this fashion and this can be used even to up and down the whole circuit like this so this is what the scoot command stands for you can scoot either the components or even the whole wire with the component you can scoot in this way if you want to flip the component in the opposite direction now reverse let us say reverse the component ok if I select this see I can reverse this in this fashion you can reverse the component without uh, disturbing the connections anyway now I don't want to keep it like this I want to maintain it in the initial like this only now if I draw one more three phase line or if I want to copy the same circuit I can even use this uh, command line copy circuit now I will copy this circuit keeping the snap on 
now it has become automatically become 2cb2 now using scoot command that also I can give through this way scoot this way I can scoot the commands I mean even through keyboard I can run the commands now you see the alignment of these two components are not proper one is here and one is somewhere offset on the right hand side so if I want to align all the components together go here pick the master one this one and select the rest see you can align the components I mean in this way you can make the drawing tidy it will look beautiful if one component here another here this has nothing wrong with there is nothing wrong with this putting these components here but still being a professional designer you should keep the drawings tidy another thing if you want to move this attribute here and there you can move See, this is move attribute by clicking this you can move and in fact by right clicking above this oh, there are many options you see edit component delete component surfer retag update copy component attributes here you will see move attribute hide attribute edit attribute all the options are here so you can utilize these things flip reverse insert wire see scoot align move component you don't have to go and search in the ribbon bar in fact just to keep your mouse above this component right click that's all you will get everything here fine now coming back to component cross referencing I will draw a wire here I'm going to insert a relay control relay relay coil here this is my 2CR1 and you know we can set up the contacts number of contacts we can define the contacts that will prevent you from wrongly using the contacts suppose you may be ordering a contactor or relay for with the 2 no 2 nc but unfortunately while making the drawings you may miss from your mind that you have ordered this only you will use uh, so many contacts so in order to avoid that you can predefine the number of contacts here so one suppose if you put 2 no 2 nc here and in the drawing if you try to put more than 2 no it will give you a warning message that it, your con control relay is with only 2 no contacts so that that is very useful and the pin number you can put everything okay okay now i'm putting a relay here and i'm going to use the particular no contact of this relay just below this relay no contact I'm going to insert it here one way you can manually type the tag for that you have to remember which tag you have given that is 2CR1 I can type it here other way is look at the drawing here you will see what are the uh, relays used so far from here you can choose okay and another way is if, if you have used some other sheets project wise you can select there may be many sheets all the sheets will come here unfortunately in this in this particular project I have only two sheets and in the first sheet I have not used any relays so sort drawing sequential wise location wise tag wise description wise you can sort and you can select one among those uh, the third option is parent just click parent and you know this is the parent click this one see automatically the 2CR comes here 2CR if you have already provided some description for 2CR one, that will also come into picture ok now I have inserted the NO contact you see the cross reference comes here now NO of this NO contact of this is used at here 13 it is showing 14 line number 14 if you see this is 14 
it is used here now if you see here it is showing the coil is used in 13 13 is this thing see 13 this way again we have gone through the component cross reference in detail in in our earlier sessions the cross referencing method you can of course you can change the way you want graphical format text format if you want graphical format go here this way also you can do okay okay now it is see it has not updated for that you have to go and update component cross referencing active drawing only now save close now you see we have not provided any pin number that's why it's coming if you provide some pin number here for 2CR1 like uh, for example 11 12 okay now see that comes here and the cross referencing also the, now it is coming as 13 14 only 13 and 14 in this way only and I in fact if I want to change that too is possible like see now earlier it was just a default numbering just the, the, those numbers represented the vertical axis now if I click this yes also comes yes means sheet number sheet number plus this line number both are here and if I again want to put it in a, some other way like this this is also very much possible update active drawing ok now you see this way this way you can put again if you want to move the attributes here and there that is also very much possible here here and in fact if you don't want this pin number to appear in this drawing that is also possible click here attributes hide attributes hide attributes select those attributes which you don't want to appear in the drawing it is there but it is hidden in the drawing so in this way also you can use this coming back toggle switch if you want this NO to be NC if you want to convert this NO into NC oh, unfortunately deleted if you want to convert it to the NC just click here see it has become NC the moment it will also get updated so this is another way and now if you want to if you wrongly inserted some uh, blocks here for example I will put one more block here that is just like this okay now if you want to change this CR1 also like this the symbol 2CR2 the same symbol you can do that to swap update block one at a time or drawing weight and pick new block from icon menu or pick new block just like so I have a block inserter right here in the drawing so I will use this option ok and look like this see this way you can change the whole drawing all the components inside the drawing you can change in one go so this is all about component inserting components and component cross-referencing